Okay, folks, we just crossed uh, the north end of the Salton Sea. See it out the right window. Just a few miles from Thermal. Um, you can see that our OBS gauge is starting to act up on us a little bit. It's wanting us to move a little bit. The closer you get to the beacon, the more it's going to want to do that. That's a good sign. Um, the reason I picked Thermal as my first waypoint instead of direct to Palm Springs was a couple of reasons. I wasn't exactly sure that the aircraft could pick up the VOR in Palm Springs uh, from Imperial. And if you fly from Imperial direct to Palm Springs, you've got these mountains here off to your left that are going to be a problem. So Thermal is a little bit more northerly course. Uh, and then once we hit Thermal, uh, we can hook a little bit of a left and start tracking Palm Springs. It's a, a pretty short leg uh, from there. Right now we just want to watch our OBS. So the closer you get to a, a VOR tower, uh, the more haywire the gauge is going to start going. And that's a good thing. That's what you're looking for. Uh, if you're far away from it and you're on the heading, uh, the, the vertical bar on the OBS is going to pretty much stay glued where it's at. Uh, the closer you get to the VOR, the more it starts to move, uh, the more it wants you to start making adjustments to your heading. Um, and eventually, as you cross over the top of it, you're going to lose it altogether. And we'll see that happening here in just a second. Okay, we see our uh, vertical needle on the OBS is starting to move further and further off the center line. And faster and faster off the center line. Basically that means we are just about to cross over the top of it. Okay, now we see the little orange triangle on the OBS saying from. That means we're, we've passed over thermal uh, and we're heading away from the beacon. So we need to tune our next uh, VOR, which is Palm Springs, on 115.5. There's 115.5 and... It wants about 305 degrees heading. And there we go. Pretty short leg uh, to Palm Springs. We're getting just about to Palm Springs. Back there's Palm Springs uh, directly out the left window. I can see the airport out there. We're going to be making our turn here pretty quick. See that our OBS gauge is starting to act a little funny. Okay, we can see that our vertical bar on the OBS is starting to walk away from us. And there it goes. We're just about right over the top of the Palm Springs VOR tower. Now it shows we're heading away from it, so going to tune 110.4, which is Pomona, and it wants us just about 265, I think that says.
that's 270, that's 260, yeah, 265. That's about 265 on the gyro. And we're going to follow that for a little bit. Now, following uh, uh, this track uh, uh, to the Pomona VOR tower presents a couple of problems. Uh, I can show you on our map here. This is the Pomona VOR tower, and this is Bracket Field at Laverne where we're going. The VOR tower is not at the airport. Ideally, if we wanted to navigate uh, strictly by the radio, we would have a tower right out here. Uh, if we continue to follow this track, uh, we're gonna end up about a mile and a half to the south uh, of where we want to be. Uh, this tower is, uh, well, this is Laverne. The, the tower is basically on, on top of the hill at San Dimas. Uh, that ain't going to work for us, but we do have a fix, uh, and that also helps us with another problem, and we'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, if we were flying along like this at night and the weather was good, uh, we could cheat. Uh, let me turn it to a nighttime view. Ah, there we go. In fact, let's... Uh, there. Just drive along and follow I-10 to where you want to go. Uh, it's cheating, but it works. Now, I'm doing this artificially low. Uh, I filed for 6,000, or I'm sorry, I filed for 3,500 feet, which is what we're flying for the purpose of the demonstration, uh, but they wouldn't give me anything lower than 6,000, which is prudent. Uh, as we cruise along here, uh, we get to Beaumont and Banning right in front of us. I think Banning is like 2,400 feet elevation. Uh, we're only flying at 3,500, so yeah, it just wouldn't do to have a, a big radial come buzzing along. Uh, 1,100 feet off the ground doing 140 miles an hour. Uh, but I wanted to give us a, uh, a needle to thread uh, in the form of San Jacinto on the left, San Gorgonio on the right. Um, so for now, all we do is just keep cruising along. Uh, we'll be in Pomona shortly.
have the field. I know I'm close to it. I still don't have it. All we're going to do is we're just going to fly the crosshairs until we see it. This is a case where it would actually be a little bit easier if we did it at night. Change it. Yeah, I can just make out the lights of the field right out there. And we'll just...
set the parking brake and see how ugly that was. Yes, I know it's not aligned. Pappies are showing me a touch high there, but I really didn't want to get in those power lines. Should have held the nose back further than that, but well, not bad. I, heck, I've only got about uh, five flights in this airplane, so uh, I guess it just takes a lot more practice than I've got. But I got time. <laughs> 